Hey guys, so uh, I'm going to be doing the Call of Duty Megabox Zombie Horde review today. Um, I did a speed build video on this earlier, which it'll be uh, in the video later as a featured link. Um, so feel free to go check that out. Um, this is going to be the review video, obviously. Um, I'm just going to be showing you the zombies and uh, the actual structure. So here is the back of the box. It shows some pictures. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on those. So it looks pretty cool. Um, it is an awesome set, so let's take a look at the figures. So here are the six zombies, and yes, I said it's six. You get six in this set. Uh, retail on this set is $14.99. Uh, Toys R Us is pricing it for $20. I don't think that's a good price. I price match it there, and I got it for $15, which is great. Uh, they do price matches now. So $15, bucks, great price for six figures. That's amazing. I mean, literally. And one thing I love about these zombies is they're so detailed. I mean, we'll go take a look at the close-up in a minute, but... I mean, it's so surprising that you actually get six. Uh, there's only two different molds, though. That's one thing I don't like. When you get this bald guy and this guy with hair, uh, they're just painted differently, so it looks different, but there's only two different molds. They could have done a little better on that and maybe gave us a third or fourth one. Um, it's kind of weird, but you know what? Um, I don't care that much. And they don't have articulation at all. I mean, it's even worse than the Lego figures. That's very surprising. So, uh, for example, you can't move their legs at all. They're stuck. You can move their waist. Move their arms and move their head. That's that's all you can do. That's a bit of a pain. I mean, come on, being a zombie um, in the actual Black Ops 2 game from what this set is from, um, you can the zombies climb over walls and run at you sometimes. So obviously their legs can move. I mean, the only way to move them is like that, and that that's 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 kind of dumb. I mean, whatever. But let's take a look at the figures. So here are these three zombies. Uh, as you can see, this one is definitely the least detailed, uh, but they're all very detailed. That one is still detailed. Um, these two are out of control detailed, especially that one, which is the one featured in the box. Um, so these figures are just great. Outstanding detail, but uh, there's only two different chest molds, as you can see. Uh, that one and that one have this exact same one. Um, and this one just has this little tie going through his shirt. So there's only two different molds for the chest and two different molds for the heads. That's kind of stupid. Uh, I would have liked to see more variety, but you know what? It's the first set, uh, so it's okay. Um, uh, you know, it's a, I guess it's a good way to start by not giving us too much. Um, but I like them. Uh, they're very cool. Uh, they do look like the zombies in the game. If you do look up Black Ops 2 zombies, uh, uh, this type of zombie and the bald guy will appear in a picture. So Megabox have done an outstanding job on deta detailing them. Um, they look great. Uh, this guy is kind of in a yellow slash tan suit. This guy's in a gray slash tan suit, and that guy is in a brown slash very dark green, uh, or navy war green, something like that. And his pants are in teal. All their boots are in brown. That one's in a bit lighter brown. Um, but they have very limited articulation. Uh, actually, no articulation at all. You just you can just move their arms and uh, their head around. Um, so I'm going to give you a little better look at that. Uh, so you can move their head 360. <laughs> Kind of like that. Uh, they do have a peg hole for absolutely no reason. It's kind of weird. I wish they didn't have it. Um, I mean, they're not going to be holding any weapons. Um, but it looks a little weird. I don't like the peg hole. I don't know why they included it. It doesn't make any sense. Um, but here's a very good look at the face. It's got blue eyes, which is very cool. Uh, the hair was painted pretty well, especially on this guy. Very glossy. Um, the detail on this guy's chest is very, very, very good. He's got dirt on it. Um, just the detail on these guys is outstanding. I mean, I mean the peg hole kind of gives it away, but still very, very cool figures. Here are these three zombies. Uh, these guys are very cool as well. As you can see, there's still only two chest molds, and uh, these guys all have the bald head mold guy. Uh, I personally like the one on the right the best. Uh, the camera doesn't really bring up the detail as much, but in person he looks a lot better. Um, he's got blood all over him. So very gory, uh, these figures are, but of course they're zombies. They have to be. Um, just the detail is just great. I mean, these guys are just very cool. Uh, the, the detail is almost as good as action figures, um, which is why they call them micro-action figures. So, um, very cool figs. Let's take a look at the little uh, structure they give us. So here is the little structure that they give us. Uh, it looks to be part of the transit farm, um, as far as I know. I mean, I guess you could kind of connect it to the farm, which I will do. Um, but 
I like the build of this. It's very interesting. As you can see, there's two strings, and what's holding that down is actually studs. So a pretty cool building technique they use there, as well as this thing right here is hanging down on the actual base plate, and it makes it look like the actual, I don't know, telephone pole is tilting. Um, they do give you a little wheel uh, from a car or something, so it's all rubber. Um, comes with a pickaxe and a shovel, so that's pretty interesting. I like the inclusion of that. They give you these two fences, which I really like. Um, so that's kind of like the real zombies, where the zombies can actually just go ahead and hop over it like that. So that's interesting. And just like Black Ops 2, there is lava on the ground. And if you walk over it, it burns you and sometimes can kill you. So that's very cool that they included it. Uh, it's very accurate, too, just a little structure. Um, I do believe it is from Transit Farm, or just as map transit. Um, but no, we, we can't confirm that. Uh, Maybe it was just a made-up bottle on my Mega Blocks. Mega Blocks, um, excuse me, but regardless, it's cool. I like the little design of it. Uh, definitely works for putting zombies on there. Uh, a good display piece. And that's basically it for the set, so let's talk about the ratings. And before we go, uh, I'd like to show you that you can switch out the legs of a normal COD figure. So what you do is you just remove uh, the waist from the little belt right there. Remove the zombie legs, which is a little tough, um, but it'll come out. And uh, what you do is you line it up so that it'll fit good. I'm just going to go ahead and remove this belt thing right here, uh, the waist piece. A little hard to get off there, but it'll come off. Um, and you make sure that everything is lined up good. And you just squeeze it, and it attaches. It looks a little weird, but actually, you know what? No, it doesn't. And the zombies have articulation. So if you do have some spare cod figures around and you like to exchange the legs, uh, you have the ability to have articulation in your zombie figs. So um, that's basically it. Uh, so, now let's go on to the ratings. Alright, so, uh, my thoughts, I love it, very cool set, and when I saw pictures of this set, I was really, really, uh, I really liked it, and you know what, I wasn't disappointed, it's very awesome. Um, the limited articulation in the zombies does bug me a little bit, but like I said, you can switch it out with the normal cod figs legs, so that is a plus, um, I guess, um, there's only two molds with the zombies. That doesn't bug me too much. Uh, the detail is just great. Uh, they're so useful for mocks and stuff. Uh, the fact that they actually include six in this set is awesome. Um, I just love it. Uh, the little structures are very awesome as well. Um, the price point is fantastic. Like I said, 15 figs, 74 pieces, all for 15 bucks. Great deal. I mean, it really is. Uh, 20, 20 bucks. Uh, getting a little hefty there, but it is six figs, so I, I think it's a good deal for both prices regardless. Um, so, good set. I really think you guys are going to like it, and uh, thanks for watching.